Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Booze Bites, the show where I show you how to cook with booze, but not just any booze, we're using always local booze. This time I have a coffee pot cellar Chardonnay. I know the Chard, I love the Chard, and I drink the Chard. But today we are going to be cooking with the Chard and we are going to be cooking some escargot. Now before you get all freaked out about cooking escargot at home, bear with me, this process is not that hard. If you can cook mussels at home, if you can cook clams at home, you can cook escargot at home. We're gonna do it, it's gonna be easy, fun, simple, and so delicious. Now of course, I got my escargot from Pecanic Escargot and I'm super excited to cook with it. So before we start that process, we have to, of course, try this wine. It is, I'm not even kidding you, 10.30 in the morning on a Wednesday and I'm having one. I can't complain. Let's get started with the snails though. So there are three parts to this recipe. We have the parboiling of the snails, the herb butter that we are going to make, and then kind of bringing those two together, stuffing the butter in the snails and throwing it into the oven. First, let's parboil our snails. Okay, so the snails I have in this nice shallow pot. To parboil them, we are just going to cover them in liquid, throw in some really nice aromatics, and gently, gently, gently boil them at like a bare simmer for about 40 to 45 minutes. That is what is going to cook them all the way through. You just want the snails to feel like they're in a nice luxurious hot tub and they don't even know what's coming. As they parboil, you will see this kind of foamy material come up to the top. You wanna to skim that off. While the snails are at the spa, we are going to move on to step two, which is the herb butter, which, I mean, come on, does anything sound better than an herb butter? You can use whatever aromatic flavors, herbs, spices that you want to throw in there. If you want, you can make this butter ahead of time and stick it in the fridge overnight to really help those flavors come together. And then just make sure you take it out of the fridge um, a couple hours before you're gonna use it. So again, it comes back to that room temp. Okay, so I have the snails right here. I discarded that liquid that we cooked them in and then patted them dry in some paper towels. We are going to be putting a little bit of butter in them and then cooking them in the oven for not too long, maybe five to 10 minutes. But first we have to make some kind of contraption that will prevent them from rolling around. So it's gonna take some aluminum foil and just kind of crumple it up so it's stable enough so that I can kind of poke the snails into them. Okay, we have our escargot made with coffee pot sellers Chardonnay and Peconic Escargot snails. They look so good. You should get the snail out with a toothpick or a special escargot pick. I have neither, so I'm going to be using a cheap knife. Also, I don't have one of those cute little plates that they're served in, so I'm just serving them right on the tinfoil. I mean, it's escargot. It's so, so good. It's garlicky buttery. It's just delicious. It is. You should make these for sure. They're so much fun. I think they will impress people and they're just delicious. That's it. That's all I have to say. So with that said, cheers.